Soul Hunters, what's up? We're Stephen Gamer, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today is one of those great videos, guys, because we're going to be talking about pets. All things pets. I'm going to show you guys all the pets in the game from purple to legendary. We're going to break them all down. We're going to have some different options of heroes you can apply them to. And let's face it, guys, one of the best feelings in the games right now is when you finally get one of these great, you know, epic or legendary eggs. And then you have to wait a whole day for it to hatch, but it finally is ready to hatch. It's shaking, and uh, we are about to see what pet this one is, guys. So, without any further ado, let's just begin the video on right now. Lego! Who's that Pokemon? Hello! We got here guys we got the brand new pet abby welcome to the team see i already knew it was abby because it was on a promotion but uh this guy looks pretty awesome and i'm super excited to get this robotic fiend in the team it looks like it's a major um physical and health not for your magic heroes but we'll break him down we'll break everybody else down in this video right now so let's go ahead so before we begin breaking down all of the pets for you guys uh first things first i want to give you guys a quick tip on what i think you should be doing right now with your pets as you can see at the top i have one green and five blue pets 27 purples which is a lot and then three legendaries uh the reason for that is because you should not ever work on a green pet all right so even if you are um not even spending a dime in the game i don't recommend you work on your green pets at all and I don't even recommend you work on your blue pets at all, at all guys. Uh, your green and blue pets should specifically be just for sacrificing, right? For potions. Uh, gold is a really, really rare commodity and game. And so is pet food. It's hard to get. So those two things you really need a lot of for your purple and for your legendary pets. So definitely don't waste them on blue and green ones. Sacrifice. Um, uh, initially, don't sacrifice your blue and green until you have a lot of, you know, purple ones at least. You could put them on your pets, but do not upgrade them. Don't use your gold, don't use your gold and their abilities, uh, don't use your food. Just don't do it guys, alright? That's one thing. Even though if you're not spending any money in the game, purple pets are rare, but they're not impossible to get. Even with a few refreshes, uh, eventually the time will come where you're gonna get lucky and you're gonna drop one or two of them. So, uh, it's not that difficult to get purple pets, um, so... You definitely should be saving up your resources for all purple pets, alright? So that's my number one tip that I think you guys would benefit from. Don't work on your blue and green. S save those, sacrifice them later. Work on purple and definitely work on your legendary, alright? Now let's go ahead and break down these pets. Alright, so the first pet that we're going to break down is the brand new one that I just hatched right now, guys. And it's Abby. I don't really know too much about Abby yet because I just hatched him myself but what i can tell from uh, their facebook post is abby is from a different game that lilith has created uh abby a robot's tale i think it was called uh which looks kind of interesting kind of like wall kind of like wally right a robot uh, now initially i thought when i hatched them is a physical attack was higher than magic but i was i guess i saw it wrong because it looks like magic is higher than its physical attack which we definitely need more pets that you know help out your magic heroes because right now it seems like we have a lot that help out physical heroes not enough for magic so this is good uh, and then we have um you know pretty decent health boost as well so magic heroes with a nice health boost um can reduce his owner's cooldown times so that's pretty good now let's go ahead and let's break down his abilities and that's how you're going to know what pet uh will go on what hero guys the process of elimination is usually the best way to go about these pets so let's take a look at his first ability solar power when his owner's health drops below 30 percent their energy will regenerate quickly whoa that's really good and their magic armor will be increased all right so increases magic armor uh and then how energy regeneration is really nice uh, pretty much every hero in the every hero in the game can benefit from energy regeneration so that's actually really good so this ability here can apply to every hero in the game anytime it's an armor it can apply to anybody energy it can apply to anybody so let's take a look at his second ability and see if that will help out a little bit when his owner uses their ultimate the cooldown time will be re decreased okay and health will be slowly regenerated all right so this one will regenerate health and the uh, decreased cooldown periods so this doesn't really help out much either because this can apply to every hero 
So basically, what you really want to do now with Abby is... Uh, because the disparity between physical and magic attack is so different, so this is going to increase by each star that we do. So meaning every time, you know, if it goes up to 7 stars, this is going to go up a lot and physical is going to go up a good amount, but it's going to be a big discrepancy in how, you know, what percentage you get. So that completely sways the balance as to where you want to put your abbey. So magic hero, uh, I would definitely suggest you put him on a magic hero. And it seems like because of this magic armor increase and because of energy regeneration, you might want to put him on a DPS hero for sure. Uh, because they're going to be able to get off more ultimates right away. Um, that's one thing that comes to mind. A magic hero, a DPS hero. And uh, let's see, this one is going to gain some health and a cooldown period. So yeah, so right off the bat, my initial idea is to put him on a hero that magic DPS. So let me see where we're going to put him. Alright guys, so I scrolled around and... Um, I'm going to put my Abby on Alicia here because I really, really think that this is going to really benefit her a little bit here. Uh, increase her magic armor, uh, give her faster energy regeneration because uh, usually magic heroes re you know, regen uh, energy pretty quickly as well. Some more health. So I kind of feel strongly about this and most of my other heroes already have pets on them. So the only two other options I have is Wallace or Abby and Wallace definitely not. We'll talk about Wallace next but let's go ahead. Abby here. Uh, let's see how much I can feed him. So let's go ahead. Let's feed him as much as we can and see what we're going to do. All right. I only got that much. Boom. There we go. So that right away jumps up to five stars. And as you can see at five stars, check out the difference between physical and magic. That's why you want to put him on a magic hero. 18.7% magic, 7% physical. So completely, you know what I mean? It's a big, big difference in how much percentage he gets. So yeah, so that's looking pretty good. I also have to work on his abilities here a little bit. Problem is, like I said before guys, abilities cost a lot. So uh, let's see, this is level 11 and level 10. 36,000 just for, no, 360,000 and 360,000 per level and it keeps growing up. Look at this, 400,000 at level 14 and you gotta get this up to level 40. So, nope, I'm already out of gold. So that's where it's gonna remain. And at this point right now, magic armor 900. So this is going to go over a thousand magic armor, which is nice. And this one is already over, let me see that, 12,000 health. Mmm, pretty good. So that's my opinion on what I think you should do with Abby, guys. But it kind of really helps out a lot because knowing you're going to put him on a magic hero kind of eliminates the field by 50%, right? So you can go 50% on which hero to go on to and then decide on all your magic heroes who you're going to put them on all right so that's what i think about abby pretty cool robot and i think it's going to actually help out a lot on to the next one all right guys so the next pet that we're going to talk about here is angus the bull the raging bull i guess you want to call him but angus a lot similar to abby and uh, what it helps out and as you can see it helps out your magic and health the difference is a lot more let me just take a look here so that he's six stars and abby's only five stars abby has more magic attack at five stars than angus does at six stars right but less health so that's the difference between the two more more health for angus more less magic attack but similarly to a magic hero, you want to put your Angus on right there. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at his abilities and see why I chose to put him on my Glacia, as you can see. So, Raging Bull, his is first ultimate here. So, let's see. When his master's health is less than 30%, he allows his master to gra gradually regain some health. Um, so, not only that, but it doesn't also mention that it increases physical armor. Alright. So, as we can take a look, health amount increases by 8,000 and then increases physical armor by 800 and these are level 40 they're already maxed out and I just wanted to show you guys what happens at level 40 here is 1,340,000 to be able to promote them just one level so that's how expensive it gets guys it gets crazy so I'm mostly talking to the guys earlier on in the game if you are a veteran if you've been playing for a while you already know this but for the guys that are just beginning you know it gets pretty expensive alright so this initial one it increases physical armor and health and if you remember from 
Abby is a little bit different because Abby increases magic armor, right? So these two pets are actually very similar. One increases magic, one increases physical, and uh, they're both kind of similar in uh, their attributes as well. One gives you a little more health, one gives you a little more attacking power. So this is why I got Angus on Glacia because Glacia is a support hero. I don't really need her to do a lot of damage. I actually just need her to survive longer so she can support more. So she's a support. So Angus helps you out more of a support magic hero, where I, whereas Abby, I felt like would help me out a little bit more on the attacking side of Alicia because his magic attack is higher. So that's the thought process behind there. Uh, next ability is Fleeting Fury. When his master uses their ultimate, he increases his master's armor effectiveness, increasing their movement speed and also attack speed. All right, so this is another physical armor boost, plus it increases movement speed and attack speed so they can actually uh, attack faster and you know obviously go faster which is gonna help out with your support heroes as well so that's why I think he's perfect for a support so if you have an Angus guys it's all about survival survivability he's going to boost up their armor most pretty much all physical armor so boost up physical armor boost up their movement speed and attack faster and uh, that's pretty much all you need so a little bit similar to abby but different in its own way right so that's the two newest uh, pets that they released now uh make your choice as to what i think you should put you know him on it's obviously you want to put him on your magic hero you could put him on an attacking magic hero but i feel like it'll be definitely benefit you on a support magic hero all right guys now moving up here now we have wallace Wallace is a pretty cool looking pet here and I actually think he's awesome. I love Wallace. It's very very unique and it's very very cool. Now let's break down what Wallace is all about. As you can see I have mine on Rodin and I'll explain why I put my Wallace on Rodin here. Um, attributes are pretty cool. 18% physical. So this is when we move on to physical uh, pets here. The other ones were mostly magic. Now it's more physical. 18.7% um, physical attack boost and 18.7% health boost which are both really really good all right let's break down his abilities here and see what he does first ability rapid action 15 seconds after his master enters the battlefield wallace gives his master a speed boost and increases their dodge rating so this is actually really dope um increased dodge by 100 and increases attack speed by 30 percent that's a lot uh you know 30 percent is a hell of a lot of uh, speed to, to, to increase guys it really really does help out so that's the first one there knight uh, vision second ability when his master uses their ultimate attacks an enemy wallace attacks an enemy dealing physical damage and disarming them right so disarming them is going to just pretty much break down their armor for 4.06 seconds so for four seconds their armor is, is going to be uh disarmed which means you're, they're going to be taking a lot more damage now um i think wallace is perfect for rodin obviously rodin dishes out a ton of damage um, but he's mostly a support hero. He's going to increase your attack speed. He's going to increase your attack. And uh, that's why I like him a lot. He's an agility hero. That's why I think Wallace is perfect for agility heroes. Uh, other heroes that you might want to think about are Prince of Persia. I really like him and Prince of Persia as well. Increasing his dodge, uh, increasing attack speed. You know, that can really help out, uh, you know, a lot. And then this one can, this ability can doesn't really matter who you put them on it's going to deal damage it works on its own it's going to disarm them but this is the one really that's going to really tell you what you want to put them on dodge and attack speed and then so pretty much take out all your magic heroes automatically put them on a physical hero and mostly try to go on a physical hero that's agility that'll really help out a lot make them go faster give them a little more dodge so there's a lot of different options that you can go with but um if you do have rodin i think rodin is perfect for him it works really really you know hand in hand together and um uh that's it for wallace all right let's move on to the next purple pet and it's emerson now if you guys know me you know i have a ton of emersons guys that's the only pet that i was kind of hatching in the beginning when pets were first released i have so many emersons it's not even funny but uh emerson is pretty cool not the best you know i guess pet in the game i personally don't like him that much uh, as you can see this one is six stars but weak attack it's not weak but it's not as high as some of the other ones as you can see wallace was at 18 percent. he's only at 12 percent at six stars so his magic and physical attack are very very close together you can kind of go with either one but you really want to go with physical i'll explain when we get to the abilities but it does give you a big health boost 24 percent is a lot so 
possibly putting him on a tank would really help out. I got mine. Now, this Emerson is on Morphir because Morphir, as you already know, he's a DPS hero. He goes in there on the opposite side of the field and he just starts slashing and dashing and just destroying everybody. So, a little bit of increase in his attack plus a big increase in his health will really help him survive a little bit longer. So, that's what I kind of like about Emerson. Uh, big health boost right there. Now, let's take a look at his abilities. 10 seconds. After his master enters the battlefield, Emerson increases his master's physical attack and physical crit rating. So, right away, that's why you want to put him on a physical hero. Even though physical and magic attributes are very close, he definitely needs to go on a physical hero because physical uh, attack increase by 1,981 is pretty, really good, guys. It's, it's a nice increase. And then physical crit rating by 500 is also really, really nice. So, this ability right there uh, kind of just... Put him on a DPS hero, um, a hero that's going to deal a lot of damage, is going to be able to get more crits, and it's going to give him a, you know, a health increase. So that's what Emerson is all about. And then second ability, Charging Boar, is another one of those self-relying um, abilities, meaning you can go on anybody essentially. But when his when his uh, master uses his ultimate, then Emerson is going to charge, stunning the enemy and dealing some physical damage. Right, so a quick stun for two seconds. And then deals 2,800 damage, which is decent. But yeah, so this one is not that big of a deal. The Boar's Fury is actually a really good ability here. Um, physical increase. Other heroes that you could kind of put them on, uh, like I said before, it could be on anybody. Celeste would be a really good one as well because a big health increase. And then just raising his attack power. Um, any physical frontline tank I think would be okay, guys. Even backliners, it doesn't matter. Physical heroes, this will help out a lot. Give them some more health and uh, be able to raise their attack and crit. So that's what I like about Emerson. Next one. All right, now we're moving on to Mika here, guys. Uh, initially, Mika was one of the best pets in the game. Uh, Mika is purple, but it's very, very powerful. Now, as you can see, I've got my Mika on Batman here. And we'll talk about that last item there as well. Because uh, if you notice from the other pets, they don't have that item unlocked. And I'm going to explain to you guys how you can unlock that. Uh, a little bit later but let's talk about mika right here check out the physical increase guys 21 percent at seven stars it's incredible it's your highest physical increase in the game which is great so uh mika is perfect for all your dps physical heroes emerson gave you you know a, a little bit more health but as you can see mika gives you 22.5 percent health plus 21 percent uh physical which is insane really really high that's why it, I personally feel Mika is the best purple pet in the game, personally, because of that huge increase in physical attacks. So let's go ahead and take a look at Mika's abilities here. Let's see what, uh, I think it's a female pet, so I'm going to say what she's good at. So when her master's health is less than 30%, Mika gives her master increased physical armor and allows them to recover some health. Increased physical armor and recover some health. Kind of sounds a lot like um, Angus if you really think about it, right? Increased physical health and uh, uh, increased physical armor and some health. Uh, Beast within the second ability, when her master uses his or her ultimate, Mika gives her master increased physical attack as well as attack speed. So this one is a good ability here. Physical attack increase, attack speed by 35%. That's even higher than Wallace, so that's incredible right there. So both of these abilities are really, really good. The difference between Mika that I like is look at all the advantages that she will give to your pet. Uh, increased physical armor, uh, recover health, increased physical attack, and increased attack speed. Four, you know, four different things from our abilities, plus a big increase in physical attack and a big health increase. So that's why I personally think Mika is incredible. I love Mika. Uh, I have her on my Batman because Batman obviously deals a ton of damage. Incredible a ton of damage. You know, when he gets off his ultimate, he can single-handedly take out a whole team. If they're all bunched together, forget it. They're dead meat. But, yeah, so that's what I would suggest you really put your Mika on. Physical DPS heroes, any physical DPS heroes. All the heroes that I mentioned from Emerson, you can put Mika on. So it's very interchangeable. But you definitely want to put Mika on one of your top, top heroes that you use quite a bit. Because uh, it's definitely going to make a huge difference in your power ranking, guys. It's going to make a huge difference in your arena teams. That's for sure. 
All right, and the last purple pet that I say for you guys is Jackal Lantern. Now, Jackal Lantern was initially the only pet that was for uh, Magic Heroes until they released the, the last two, Angus and Abby, right now. But Jack was the only one available for Magic Heroes, and uh, Magic Heroes were not really that viable for a while in the game. They're starting to get their shit together right now, so we can finally start using them again. But look at this 21% magic increase. That's the same as. Mika guys so Jack is the opposite of Mika so Mika is for your physical heroes Jack is for your magic heroes 21% and 22.5% health so both are really really powerful put Jack on pretty much all your magic uh, you know uh, heroes so let's take a look at his abilities here pumpkin power so 10 seconds after uh, master enters the battlefield Jack gives his master a boost to his magic attack and magic armor all right really incredible right there magic attack increase magic armor increase uh very self-explanatory and then lanterns glow when his master uses their ultimate jack deals damage to an enemy and slows them down all right so deals some damage and reduces uh attack speed by 30 percent which is pretty dope <laughs> that's actually really good right there as well so i love jack for your magic heroes uh pretty much this ability is the only one that really really matters here a big increase in magic attack and magic armor and then obviously the stat increased 21% in magic and 22.5% in health so that's what jack is all about so we have three pets right now that are really good for magic heroes you got abby angus and jack and then you have and then you have three that are also good for physical heroes so three and three right now is pretty evened out now we are going to move on to the legendary pets guys so let's go ahead Alright, so the first of the legendary pets, we have Peggy, one of the original gangsters in the game, guys. Peggy was the first original legendary pet, and uh, she is amazing, or he is amazing. Uh, Peggy is obviously amazing. Check out these bonuses, guys. 40.4% physical attack increase, 36.36% magic, that's almost identical, and then 48.48% health. That's just insane. Um, it's just crazy guys. So from these stats, you can kind of go with magic or physical. It's pretty, you know, it's pretty close. Uh, let me just show you guys what I meant by this item right here. So the only way you can increase the final, so you have six items in total, five of them you can increase by having your other pets on them. This last, the last item here, guys, you can only increase by equipping a legendary pet to your hero. So as you can see, I have my super and my Batman too. Uh, had his all six items is because once you put your legendary pet on a hero and you you know equip them with all of your items once you take that pet out the items are going to remain on him which is actually incredible because uh you can kind of rotate your legendary pet into different heroes and then kind of equip them all as you please so that's why it's you know pretty good uh let's go ahead let's break down you know peggy's abilities here and see what she actually does so first ability gift of strength look at all those increases uh, when her master's health is less than 30 percent peggy can boost her master's physical and magic armor while also increasing their physical and magic attack how sick is that guys increase both armors and increase both magic and physical attack uh the difference is magic attack increases a little bit more uh than physical but it's not that much more so you know it really doesn't make a big difference so that's why it's that's why Peggy is one of the most universal heroes in the game because you can kind of put Peggy on any hero, whether they're magic, whether they're physical. Uh, you really you can go on anybody, and it's really, really great. Uh, next one, when her master's health is less. No, I'm still clicking on the same one. When her masters uses their ultimate, Peggy boosts her uh, master's physical and magic armor while simultaneously boosts their physical and. Uh, magic attack so how sick is that it's literally almost identical to the first one increases uh, physical attack by 5,000 and magic attack by 5,000 and then increases their magic armor and physical armor as well so like I said Peggy you can put on anybody it really doesn't matter Peggy is uh, the best hero the best pet in the game obviously crazy increases to all of your stats guys literally all of your stats will get a crazy increase uh, that's why I have don't forget guys this Peggy I have at five 
level five, which is the maximum that you can go. And that's why I was talking about before where you want to save up all of your shitty blue and green pets, sacrifice them so you can keep upgrading your really, really good pets. Like if you have a Mika, you know what I'm saying? If you have a Jack, you want to upgrade those guys. If you want a Peggy, you want to upgrade these guys because they're going to really, really, you know, make a big difference to your, you know what I'm saying? To the hero, a huge difference. All right. And this brings us to the conclusion, guys. The other legendary hero in the game is Pugsley. Pugsley looks pretty cute. Literally looks like a, a, a pug. <laughs> and um, let's see what Pugsley is all about. But first off, breaking it down here, it's a lot similar to Peggy, but it's a little bit different because a big increase in physical, big increase in magic, big increase in health, but magic is a little bit more than physical. And Peggy was the other way around where physical was a slightly bit a little bit more than magic. But either way, uh, you, very universal, you can put them on anybody and they're both going to get a really big increase in their ma physical or magic attack. Now let's take a look at his abilities and see what what it really is good at. So when Pugsley's master health drops below 30%, he will raise his master's armor and magic resistance as well as restoring their health. So that is really, really big right there, guys. Heal amount increase, 22,000 and then magic and physical armor by 3,000 incredible um it's a big big uh, boost to your defenses here so that's why i have my pugly on my mechano we'll talk about that in just a second here and second ability here is growl pugly will increase his master movement and attack speed when they cast their ultimate so once they cast their ultimate and it doesn't say that they're going to get a physical and magic armor boost right there but as you can see they get a nice boost in their armor and attack speed by 60 percent that's incredible right there. Wow, 60% attack speed, which means they're going to be attacking a lot, a lot faster. And they're... The, the great thing about Pugsley is it's all about survivability, guys. As you can see, it doesn't really give... His abilities do not give you a big uh, boost in your attack or your magic attack or anything like that. What they do is boost up your armor really, really high, gives you more health, and allows you to uh, to cast your ultimates, your abilities faster. So somebody like Mechana, it really, really, I feel like it works really well for, for Mechana because he's a support, uh, that's his main use, but once his armor is really, really strong and he's got a really, really high health, he can survive a lot longer, and then his attack speed is gonna be a lot faster, allowing him to cast his abilities a lot quicker, thus helping out your whole team because that's what Mechana is all about, supporting the rest of the team, so by Mechana, being able to go faster will make the rest of your lineup a lot better. And that's why Mecha is obviously one of the best heroes in the game right now when it comes to the arena. Uh, I see him everywhere in the arena because he just is so powerful when it comes to, to supporting your, um, your your team. And right now, Mechana is the best support in the game, guys. So a lot of people are sleeping on Mechana. But don't sleep on Mechana. He's a beast, guys. For real. So anyways... That pretty much will wrap it up for pets, guys. I've showed you all my purple and pretty much every purple and every legendary pet in the game. You can kind of see and plan ahead if you plan on ever getting a pet or if you're going to get lucky, drop something, you know, in the campaign and it's going to hatch into somebody. You can kind of know what they're going to be doing and who you, you, you put them on. But it sometimes it makes it easier, guys, because you can kind of eliminate uh, a lot of different heroes. So uh, personally for me, if uh, I change my Pugsley here, I would not really put him on an attacking hero because it will help him survive a little bit longer, obviously, but it's not going to increase their attacking speed. You're probably better off putting somebody like Mika on them because uh, Mika is going to actually give him an attack boost and an attack, uh, attack speed boost. So at the end of the day, it's probably better off than just getting that physical, uh, you know, percentage increase and then just armor increase. But um, I also like Pugsley on Petrols. I think Petrols will probably benefit a lot from Pugsley because uh, the Reflect damage is going to help, increases its health, increases armor. So, you know, that's somebody else that I really was thinking about putting my Pugsley on, but I only, I only have one, so obviously you have to make a choice. But anyways, guys, that pretty much will wrap it up for this video. It's a pretty long video right now, so if you st stood by this whole time, I really appreciate you guys. It means a lot to me. And um, that's pretty much it. I will catch you guys on the next video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night, everybody.